Hi, I'm Annette. I'm one of the co-founders of Scoop Boot. And yesterday I picked up this boy and he's shot on all four feet. So today we're going to transition him to barefoot and I'm going to track his journey and show everyone how easy this process is. This is Libby, my barefoot trimmer. So Libby's going to look after him from here on and get these shoes off. So he's got a, a nice thick digital cushion, quite a strong frog. I won't trim much off him today because when you look at him now, taking the shoe off, taking that amount of length off the, off the wall puts the frog right down hard on the ground. So if we overload that frog, then he might get a bit uncomfortable. So we might just leave him with, a, with just a, a, a light rasp around the wall so that um, we're not taking any more length because this this coronary band is quite jammed you can see how the hoof capture looks quite long yet he's quite low on the ground so i think given a bit of time and soft ground and maybe some boots if he's walking out that whole coronary band will relax and you'll actually see a bit more that we can take off and the frog will actually take a lot of the load <laughs> Well, I've taken the shoe off and I usually Hi. just see how much strength is in that, you know, you're pretty much pinching the digital cushion between your thumbs there. And he's not concerned And he's not all. concerned, no. Mm. But also there's a lot of depth there. Mm. He's got some good landing gear. Mm. And this is so important because the caudal hoof is where all the, most of the proprioceptors are, which tell them where their foot is in time and space. I'd guess that he wasn't shot, shot as a real youngster. Mm. A lot of the time they destroy the foot before it even gets gets a chance to develop by putting shoes on two-year-olds or you know, mm. even younger. So this horse looks like he's had reasonable development. All right, mate. There you go. He doesn't have a lot of heel. Um, I'd like to see him grow a lot more heel because his hind feet should really be steeper than the front. Yep. Do you want to have a look at this, Annette? I think what you'll see is a flare through the quarters. Because when they put a shoe on, the foot is trimmed completely flat, it hasn't the ability to flex. So it, this, which in a barefoot horse would be scooped in or wear off the ground as the hoof yes. flex, it's got nowhere to go because of the shoe, so it actually yes. flares out. What we will do today is scoop those quarters a bit so they don't flare anymore. So yes. just take them off the ground. But we really, we've got nothing to take off these heels. Because if you look down the foot here, the frog's way, way lower than the heels. Whereas we would like the heels to be the same height as yes. the frog. So they the share heels the load. Are, the heels are lower than the They're frog. very low. Yeah. So we'll just tidy up the walls and we won't do much today. But I reckon he'll need a trim in two or three weeks just to, to see where he's going yeah. and see how much. You don't know how much they'll put down. Some of them put, put heaps down when you take the shoe off because the circulation improves and some of them stall for a while and don't do a lot. But they're all different. And you'll probably see, you know, some of these areas break out a bit with all those nail holes. But too much. And you'll see all these little cracks disappear yeah. once he stops flaring. Oh, he's Very good. Got a good transition pace there. Yeah. I don't think it will take too long. But I think maybe with the fact that he's had a good farrier tending to his feet. Mm. He probably wasn't shot until much later, maybe four years old. Yep, he definitely. probably have had some breaks in between yep. him having shoes on in the show ring. And um, he hasn't got long toes, he hasn't got underrun heels. Oh. And that's helped heaps in the fact that he doesn't have any cord or heel pain. Absolutely. So yeah, no, um, It makes me wonder really why they put shoes on him at all, other than tradition.